Hey, hey, what's going on? What's going on? Another day, another dollar. What's up with Jay? For Light TV, JP hollering at ya. Whew, okay, okay. I got one for you. Um, it's, I'm trying to figure this out. This chick, um, Lana Rhodes, you know, she's she does the porn. Well, she did do the porn. She, I think she stopped doing it. And, um, so now, you know, this few months back, she's talking about some things she did she regret doing. And, and this this what gets me about all this. <sighs> what do you think the outcome would be from doing sex work? So before we get into it, let's go ahead. Let's show some love. Let's hit that subscribe button, that like button. And that little notification bell. And uh, let's get at this. All right. Okay. Okay. Now, like I said, this chick, Lana, um, she's going to discuss um, doing this sex work. Uh, also, I want to do a disclaimer that the language is a little much for those of you that are um, a little, a little sensitive. So... It's a little, I'm going to say vulgar, but it's a little, you know, not, not a tasteful language. Let's put it that way. So there's your fair warning. You know, if you a little squirmish about this and this is talking about sex work. All right. So let's let's get at it. Let's see what this girl talking about, man. So um, let's just let's just get at it. It's, you got to see the shit. So what I was talking about, like being pressured um, to do like more and more things, more hardcore things. So there's two different main genres of porn. There's gonzo porn, which is the aggressive porn that you guys are talking about. It's mm -hmm. the rough anal sex. It's the choking. It's and I'll go more into that. And then there's um, vanilla porn, which is what Olivia is talking about as um, ethical porn is what I think you would consider. Mm -hmm. um, it's just like classic, like missionary, like just like basically like artsy sex. I was going to yeah. say, wait, I'm kind of laughing the inside because I've had someone call me vanilla before. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, I love vanilla. I'm like, why are you I so like vanilla? vanilla? I'm like, what do you mean? It makes me kind of hungry, but I'm, I like, I would, I've never even heard of the term gonzo, to be honest. Yeah. 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 So wow. gonzo is <clears throat> the, the first level of it, I would say would be just, it's just like, there's no like artistic vision to it it's just yeah. like rough hardcore sex mm -hmm. yeah. um and that could be vaginal penetration the next level up would be anal penetration in a gonzo style um and then there's a level far more than that and i would say that during my time in porn i'm not sure what is like the hype right now in porn it goes through like different phases mm -hmm. but during my short stint in porn um they're really extreme acts were what was popular. And that's why being the number one performer in the industry at the time, everyone wanted to make money off me. So they pushed me to do these things. Um, and it just gets really extreme, like you were saying, abusive. Um, did you ever feel like, did you ever go through those experiences where you had to do a scene where it was very aggressive and you just felt like... Yeah, I mean, I don't want to go into too much detail like honestly some of my experiences are really humiliating for me and i wish that they never happened there's stuff going on like okay um yeah i want to let it run a little bit before i stopped it i didn't know they had all these different types of you know porn and all this other stuff but you know you can't go through the whole industry decides you want to give it up after you become the number one she made sure she threw that in there you know porn star at the moment and everybody was saw you know everybody was coming after her to do stuff with her collab with her i guess um you did it and now you can't take it back let's just be real you did it you did some humiliating things you probably try and get ahead of it by coming out here talking about it but but ladies, this is this the thing. When y'all do that sex work, you know, the OnlyFans, porn, um, whatever else is out there. This is there's no good ending to it. I don't understand why you ladies think that when you decide to stop, like dudes waiting for you, you're gonna have a great life, uh 
all this fantastic stuff gonna be sitting there and but as soon as somebody find out that you did that only fans or this porn or any other type of sex work even strippers people dudes love strippers until they talk about being cuffed up with one and then it's like oh shit oh no 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 you know your boys clown you and all that stuff you, you can't deal with it so but let's see what else she has to say you know she's I don't know about these other girls with her, but just listen to this crap, man. Like people getting pissed on, men are pissing inside of women's vaginas, assholes, down their throats. They're... Sorry. Oh, don't cry. <laughs> Told me something was like this. No, I'm crying. I'm like, God damn it. I just don't understand why she's so emotional. No, don't cry. I'm just okay. giving some examples. But she did all this shit. No, that's money honestly, off. that's really hard. And I think like I had mentioned earlier, it's just so important for young men to stop viewing, stop viewing women as sex objects, because I believe that, you know, instilling that curriculum in school at a younger age. And they had actually said there's a fact that says that the more a young person had learned about the use of pornography from their school education or sex education is less likely to see women as sex objects. And I feel that's why. That's the dumbest shit in the world. You doing porn and don't want to be seen as a sex object. Somebody comment and explain that shit to me. You're doing porn, but don't want to be considered a sex object. How do how do how y'all get? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> how do you even come to this, ladies? How y'all? Fuck this shit, man. All right, let's go. Let's go. I'm just gonna let this go. You know, I I feel so passionate about the porn industry because I don't believe that they should be showing those types of scenes because it does view women as just an object, and it's not okay to do that. Like I enjoy watching porn. Like girl, yeah, like I, I <laughs> you know. But like, I want to watch ethical porn. I want it to be normalized and I want it to be taught to where it shouldn't be to where a woman is being abused and yeah. is, you know, like the, the male is showing aggression because that actually is going to translate into his relationships with women in the future, his wife. Like, mm -hmm. it's actually statistically proven that it's going to show aggression in a marriage and a relationship. And that's, I mean, how is that healthy? Like, that's not healthy at all. Well, now she's saying if a man watches porn that all he's going to do all this and show it in his marriage and all this other stuff. That's not true. I don't know what she's seen those stats. Um, you have people that's addicted and you just have some weird ass people out there. Like she said, she watches it. So does that mean, you know, when you get with your male partner, you're going to do all these crazy things with him? No, it don't mean that. You just trying to get a win on. Because that girl's sitting there with you, you try to make her feel good, but the person, the industry you're talking about is her. She's sitting right there beside you, and you try and defend what they do, but she's the girl that's doing it. She's the one making y'all look like sex objects and all that shit. So, I, I mean, man, what are you? What you? You can't. You can't flip this. You just can't flip it. A lot of it is like young boys don't understand and they think that this is normal and that's what girls want. So they've probably never been with a girl before and they see these horrible things and they're like, oh, this is how to please a girl. This is what I have to do. Yeah. This is what she wants. And then they, you know, do these things and they act certain ways and they don't realize the effects that they're having on women. Yeah. Well, they do say that serial killer and rapists are the ones who are consuming these extreme mm, types wow. of porns. A lot of... Um, now, you hear that shit? She went straight from regular guys to rapists and killers. But you <laughs> are making the shit for them. This is what I don't understand. You trying to talk down about it and talk about all these dudes, but you're the one who was the top in the industry. How did you get to the top? Doing disgusting shit, right? Doing some roundabout, real disgusting shit. So let's let's just be real about it, man. Stop the boy. 
serial killers, when they've gone through their search history, they're watching like these abusive porn and there's tons of mm. pornography on their search yeah. history. I mean, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I obviously like they I probably said, watched I her watch porn. I do. Yeah. I mean, well, there's, I've there's stumbled. nothing wrong with watching. Yeah. Porn. But yeah. I've stumbled upon some videos where I'm not going to lie. I really questioned why is this even allowed on mm-hmm. the internet? Like yeah. I felt very, like I was just turned off. Yeah. I was like, shut my laptop like i can't even look at this i was like i cannot believe that this is okay like this is not okay to treat women like this yeah okay i had to i had to pause this for a minute uh it just keep coming back to me as if these ladies are trying to blame everyone except themselves like they're not holding themselves accountable and the young lady that was into the industry it's crazy because they're talking about things that go on in the industry that this young lady does. But they try and pretend as if she's not there. Like, it's not your fault. It's everybody else's fault. You pressured in and you, you all these other things. But no, you weren't. And even with her situation, no, you weren't pressured to do anything. You guys are doing this for money. So, I mean, let's just keep it real. I don't, I don't understand all this other stuff they're trying to blame. I know that I got emotional, but I do want to continue giving examples mm-hmm. of some of those things just so people know. Um, what are, But what were some of the things that you saw that you were like, wow, this is really crazy? Yeah, I mean, th- there was one scene where I had seen, um, obviously, the, the male was having sex with a girl and... Um, she was literally crying because he was being so aggressive. Like, I guess, you know, he was just too big for her. I mean, she was like full blown crying and he was like slapping her. Like, you like that? Like, you know, I was just like, oh my God, how can this, like, I could not get off to this. Uh, I don't know who watches this too. Some people have that fetish and it's crazy. And that's why they put it out there because they're like, oh, somebody will watch it, which is just like, yeah, no offense, but like, that's disgusting because obviously she's not okay. Like your yeah. friend over there. And she I mean, to me, it. it's just, it really <laughs> makes me sad because I think of the girl and I think, wow, like I can just see it in her eyes that she did not want to do this scene, but she's doing it because of the reasons of, you know, she needs the money or this is a flexible job for her right now. She was convinced she was pressured, you know, she was manipulated into doing this by her agent because he you know, told her, like, it's either this way or the highway. Like, I can't even imagine how that girl felt having to do something that she clearly does not want to do. Like, there, this is... Again, she's blaming everyone except the girl. You don't know what this girl's situation is. You're just assuming. But you're a consenting adult. You signed up for this bull, crazy lifestyle. And this is what it is. You can't come back and where well, they pressure her and did her and made her and forced her. No. They offer her money to do this stuff. And she took it just like your partner over there. Simple as that. And they can leave if they don't like it. No, they won't get paid, but they do have the option to leave. Like you said, it's the highway. Way, way you can leave. You can get the way and leave. Stop trying to blame it on everybody else except the person who's doing it. Not acting like she's full blown crying. Mm-hmm. You know, like I, there's just no way she's acting and enjoying this. She's so. crying and she's yeah. gonna come back tomorrow. Yeah, I've had friends next who week. have been choked out so much that they've actually passed out during a scene. Um, there's really just like crazy stuff going on that damages people's bodies for the rest of their lives. Mm-hmm. I luckily don't have any issues, but I've seen scenes shot in Europe where guys are literally punching into a girl's asshole like this and like she's going to have issues for the rest of her life due to this and is it worth someone making a little bit of money and someone jerking off to it Mm -hmm. um the one of the worst honestly i feel like i'm in denial sometimes and i can't accept some of the things that i've done there is one thing that you know I tried talking to a therapist about before something that I had to do for a scene that was really rough for me. Um, Basically, this guy had a bowl and he like gagged me until I threw up into it. And then he like pissed in the bowl. And during the scene, he asked me to drink it. And I didn't know how to say no. It was one of the most disgusting, foul scenes I ever had to do. 
Oh, ex- explain I'm that. A oh. this, and they don't even fucking know what to say to me. Yeah. yeah. No one can relate. Like, no one fucking knows what to say about it. And so when it obviously, so obviously, I, I don't know how like porn is shot. They don't tell you before. <laughs> Let's, let's, I'm trying to back this up. Look at the girl faces now when they say this. So, uh, this is the nastiest shit I ever heard in my life. Let, let me try to back it up a little bit. Yeah. yeah. No one can relate. Like, no one fucking knows what to say about it. And so- like, like, no one fucking therapists this, and they don't even fucking know what to say to me. Yeah. yeah. No one yeah, fucked it up. Hold on. He like gagged me until I threw up into it and then he like pissed in the bowl and during the scene he asked me to drink it. And I didn't know how to say no. It was one of the most disgusting foul scenes I ever had to do. Okay, now look at their face. And they're trying not to show the disgust because they want to be on her side. And show that, oh, and then the girl gonna try to say like, no, they force you to do it. Then watch what she says. Watch. And I'm telling a therapist this, and they don't even fucking know what to say to me. Yeah. yeah. No one can relate. Like no one fucking knows what to say about it. And so when it obviously, so obviously, I don't know how like porn is shot. They don't tell you beforehand. Does this? Did they tell this guy to to do these things, or did he just my in agent, his own brain? This one, my decide? agent was actually very pissed about. Okay. And again, like. I'm not saying that I was raped. I mm. but you were put I, in the spot. You were I put, yeah, told sure. this guy like, yeah, I'm excited. Let's do this. I just I didn't know how to say no. I yeah. I didn't. I just wanted everyone to be happy. So it's I can't blame anyone. All that I can do now is make the best of yeah. my experiences yeah. and accept it. Now look at the girls when she says, "I was like, yay, let's go do it." So that's saying they brought it to her attention before it happened. You agreed to it, and you did this nasty, disgusting shit that you're talking about. That later on now, you are feeling sorry, having some morals about what you've been doing. And look at your old friends over there with the hush mouth. Hmm. Oh, that's what you do, but you're going to try to find a way to spin it and put it back on the men, right? With your nasty-ass partner over there which is really hard for me to do. Um, sorry, what was your question again? Um, I mean, no, like, I think you pretty much answered my question. <laughs> but, no, I was just going to, you know, um, chime in and say about how you had to do something that, you know, you didn't want to do or you felt pressured. I definitely can relate to that just even by, like, working at Hooters. I know me and you have worked there. I obviously have a little longer history of that. And, you know, I definitely was a sex object. Like, that's who I was viewed as working mm-hmm. at Hooters. Clearly, I was the complete opposite of that. But, you know, I definitely was pressured into some things that I didn't want to do with men. Um, they had the audacity to ask me to literally go give them a hand job behind the dumpsters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. Um, I'm sorry, it's, it's not funny. But no, it's, it's like. It's like comical. It's comical. It's behind a dumpster. No, I was really thinking, first off, why not at least the car? Yes. <laughs> like dumpster. Second off, can you imagine? She need to clarify. These are customers asking you to do this the company didn't ask you nobody the employees didn't ask you to go do these things so you weren't pressured to do it because you're not supposed to be doing that solicitation soliciting customers for money for sex at work dumb dumb like how they force you to do that Imagine you're at a restaurant and you have the audacity <laughs> to look at your Sweetie waiter. Girl, waiter. What do you mean? I don't after give a I, fuck. After I finish my chicken tenders, can you go jerk me off behind this dumpster? Yeah, oh my you know, god! But they would they would push my limits. Like they would just kind of like joke around at first, or like, oh, we, um, and they I'll give you a hundred touchy sometimes too. No. Yeah, and you know they were like, oh, I'll give you a hundred dollars if you take off your panties for me. And you know I was vulnerable. I was young. I was like, oh, like no harm. Like okay, like he just wants my panties. Like heck yeah, a hundred dollars. Like but that's then they're gonna, gonna keep, they're gonna be like, how yeah, much, they kept pushing. And, put me up, and once they like put you on the spot like it's so hard to like say no and you feel so awkward because you don't want to one ruin a relationship with a client who yeah. comes into hooters every single day who is basically that is a bill, customer not a client you, you know, too you don't want to piss them off to where they're gonna go say something so you know i i definitely can relay on the pressure thing and i can i can definitely understand how you felt like being put in a situation that you did not know you're going to be put in because it mm-hmm. is 
I I know that I got him. This is the dumbest shit I've heard in a long time. I they sit here trying to spend this girl work at Hooters and taking money from customers to do sexual favors, and you're gonna say they force you. No, your ass should have been locked up, cause it's like prostitution, and you're using Hooters to do your little prostitution in. So, ah, uh, man, I don't know. This is the dumb, nastiest shit I ever heard. Y'all can say what you want to say. Your girl nasty. Your friends corny as hell. And stop blaming everybody except yourself for doing these sexual acts for money. And now you're trying to be grown and trying to get it out your system. She's trying to have some morals now. That shit you did. You shouldn't have said this shit on the internet. But I guess you try and get ahead of it because somebody going to pull it up since you're saying you didn't leave in the industry. I uh, think she, she had she's pregnant, having a kid or something. So, no. Nah. No, nah, you're nasty. You're nasty. you mad. Real fucking nasty, man. Uh, I don't, That ain't even porn. I don't even know what the hell you want to call that, what you did. And, and your girls, they, they couldn't even look you in the damn eye after you said that. They probably thinking about, damn, what have we eaten or drank anything after you or, you know, but hey, folks, <laughs> let me hear what y'all have to say about this. This the nastiest shit I ever heard in my life. But let me hear what you got to say. You know what I'm saying? Talk to me. Let me know. Hit the comments. And I got to get out of here. This shit blow my mind. But remember, subscribe, like, hit that notification bell. And with that being said, this is For Life TV. What's up with Jay and JP? And I'm out of here. My dog keep bothering me. Chill, little man. Chill. That's my boy. Y'all take care. Peace. Thank you.